Workout three's warm up consists of a child's pose to rotation. So I want you to slide that hand under the other one, turn the palm to face the ceiling and get your ear to the floor or as close to it as you can. Sit back through your hips, let your belly fall between your legs, sliding that arm, feeling a nice stretch through that back side of the shoulder, okay? Wide stance, toes turned out, keep the knees straight, push the hips back, horizontal movement there, reach that hand for the opposite foot. You don't reach the foot, fine. Reach however far you can without bending those knees. Okay, I want your back flat, stick your booty out, push the hips back, rotate, take the opposite hand to the ceiling. From here, we're going into a push-up, then we go into a scorpion. So your push-up can be to the toes or the knees, and then squeeze the glute, bring the foot across the body. You're trying to get that knee past the other knee. So we're opening up those hips and stretching open those hip flexors. But you gotta keep the abs and the glutes tight so that you protect that low back. Super tight in those glutes. Okay, push up, then a scorpion, one side. Push ups from the knees too. Squeeze the glute, bring that foot back as far as you can without taking any kind of twinge or pain into that low back. Really just tightening up those glutes. Side planks, we're just gonna hold them for 45 seconds, lifting up from the bottom waistline. That is your focus, that bottom waistline. Shoulder pulled all the way down and under, away from your ears, elbows directly underneath your shoulder. Workout, this is for time. So you start with five reps and go up. You're going to do a burpee, cross your feet, turn, the other direction. So your burpees are always going to be facing opposite directions. Any modification of a burpee that you need to do for you. If you're not jumping and you're just stepping, then just step. If you're jumping but you're only going into a full plank, fine. Either way, like I just showed you, feet wide and flat. Second one, you go curtsy lunge, reverse lunge. But look at my front knee. It is not going diagonal. That knee needs to stay directly over your ankle. So you're pulsing from curtsy to reverse lunge, curtsy to reverse lunge. 5, 10, 15, 10, 15. Uh, you're going to go one leg at a time. All right, from a sprawl. So like you're going to get into that child's pose again. Keep your knees low to the ground. Push your weight back into your feet. Push like you're pushing into down dog. And then as you push forward, you're going to hop that foot in. Okay, there's power there from back, slow, pop it forward with that foot. See how my foot is flat, wherever your foot is going to go so it is flat. Twisting hops, come down, twist as you come up. You don't have to hop, you can just come and step it back, but you're going to keep your chest facing forward. Toes come up, reach for them, drop your legs down, do not arch that low back. Don't put your hands under that back. I want you to crunch up for those toes and then reach those legs down as far as you can without arching your low back. 